Hello everyone, a short video here which I think you'll find interesting. I'm going to play it without me talking. Так, это танчик по дороге сейчас. Сходу так и не определишь, правда, что за палка. Нормальная защита. Смотри, какая у него защита, братан. У него кирпичи защита были. такую ямочку врывает противокумулятивный мангал был офигеть он просто как чупа-чуп споткнулся в землю сложно представить что такое машину можно так просто уничтожить Бля, что за танк? Сибсмойка похож. Ну да, у него какая-то не свой, не свойственная, блядь. Пидор, танк 100%, потому что его башня вообще какая-то другая. Я вот думаю, это не леопард случайно? Не-не-не, это какие-то наши. Бля, башня вообще не свойственная. Я не знаю таких танков у нас. Блять, странная хуйня. Чего это, блядь? Блять. Какая-то это не наша хуйня. Маркировка наша, блядь, да. Это наша, это 90-е. Это 90-е. А что вот это за хуйня? А, да, 90-е. Это этот, вот как раз отвод от тура. А, да? Это, да, 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 это 90. Ебать. So this was a Russian war correspondent inspecting an extremely destroyed T-90M breakdown. Sorry, Freudian slip there, breakthrough tank. There are a few interesting things on the video as we saw. Firstly, the fact that it has actual bricks instead of reactive armor. This is how explosive reactive armor works. So basically plastic explosive sandwiched between two metal plates and mounted on a tank. When a warhead hits the upper plate, it ignites the explosive and scatters the molten jet away. So it doesn't penetrate the tank itself. Now, I'm no explosives expert, but I doubt a bog standard brick from a building is gonna have the same effect here. The second interesting thing is the turret. So it looks like we missed a nice turret toss here with my favourite type of landing, the type where it lands barrel down and looks like a lollipop. Not a perfect lollipop landing, a perfect one is when it's sticking directly upwards. This one is slightly askew, but still, I'll give it an 8 out of 10 for the landing. Shame we can't see the height and distance. Finally, I also love how the reporter is mocking the tank at first, assuming it's a Ukrainian one, and even a leopard, taking celebratory photos in front of it before it suddenly dawns on him, thanks to some help from one of the nearby Russians, that it's actually a Russian T-90 tank. The people recording mentioned this hit a mine, and as we can see in the video, it was absolutely demolished. That must have been one heck of a mine here. Probably caused some sort of internal detonation as well. No location was given for this, other than somewhere in Ukraine. But I thought it a very little interesting video, and worth a look. Now, before we finish, I'm going to play a video from Cars for Ukraine about the handover of some equipment. If you want to help their ongoing fundraiser, the link is in the description. Thanks so much for watching this video and take care, everybody. Hello, everyone, dear Sukamai Musorians. The war is not over. We don't stop. 
and uh, today is another week when we send a batch of new cars and one of the cars is is a very interesting one as you remember we had a tribute for David Knowles and uh, great friends from Australia led by Claire have decided to contribute and to uh, to have another car as a tribute to David Knowles but we were thinking who we should give it to and we saw that on your channel uh, Alex who is now fighting in Pokrovs came and asked you for help he specifically needed a Ford Ranger and together with Claire and it, as a tribute for David Knowles we're gonna help Alex whose car has burned about a month ago he didn't know that we are preparing a car for him and once we contacted him he was very very surprised and happy for this present coming to him so thank you all for for being a part of Sukumaimu's community and uh, today as you see uh, we are sending these four great vehicles they all have been donated and as you see we started adding this wonderful uh, sticker to sort of uh, thank everyone who contributes towards upgrading those cars because for example this Land Cruiser has been donated to us but it had a lot of issues with with the frame and everything was rusty and it took quite it, we needed quite a lot of money to fix it and people who donate here who donate to our power the frontline campaign help us to uh, to turn those cars into something that could be used so thank you for that join and together to our shared victory